morning students today we are going to learn about history second lesson ancient civilizations introduction what is civilization the process by which a society or place reaches an advanced stage of social and cultural development and organization the important yearly civilizations the egyptian civilization the mesopotamian civilization the chinese civilization and the indus civilization let us see the lesson today we will learn the egyptian civilization and the mesopotamian civilization one of the oldest civilization the egyptian civilization is known for its monumental architecture agriculture arts science and crafts at a very early age Egypt lies in the northeastern corner of the African continent it is bounded by the red sea on the east and mediterranean sea in the north Egypt is irrigated by the river nile which originate in lake victoria in the south and flows into the mediterranean sea in the north Deserts are seen on both sides of the Nile River. The Hyksos were the rulers of the 15th dynasty of Egypt and they were probably from West Asia. Next Persians or the people from the region of Persia, the ancient Iran. Next Greek refers to the language and people of modern day state of Greece in Europe. Rome refers to the ancient roman empire which had as its capital the city of rome in italy next pharaoh's society and administration the egyptian king was known as the pharaoh the people treated pharaoh as a divine form under the pharaoh there was a hierarchy of officials including viziers the governors of provinces local mayors and tax collectors next viziers were the high officials who administered territories under the direction of the pharaohs next tutagamans the famous egyptian pharaoh tutagamans who ruled from 1332 to 1322 BC tomb with a rich variety of offerings is located near the Luxor in Egypt the mosque of his mummy made of gold and decorated with precious stones in an important artifact of the Egyptian civilization next agriculture and trade the egyptian cultivated wheat barley millets vegetables fruits papyrus and cotton papyrus was used for making robe mats sandals and later for producing paper they domesticated cattle sheep goat and pigs and hunted wild animals next art and architecture the pyramids are massive monuments built as tombs of mourning to the pharaohs the great pyramids near cairo are known as the giza pyramids the great sphinx of giza is a massive limestone image of a lion with a huge head it is dated to the time of pharaoh khafre It is one of the largest sculptures of the world and measures 73 meters in length and 20 meters in height. Next religion the Egyptians practiced polytheism Amon, Re, Se, Thoth, Horus and Anubis were some of the gods of Egyptians. Next philosophy science and literature The Egyptian civilization excelled in science, literature, philosophy, astronomy, mathematics and the measurement system. Sundial, water clock and glass were developed by the Egyptians. 
they devised a solar calendar that consisted of 12 months of 30 days each with 5 days added to the end of a year this calendar was introduced as early as 4200 bc next writing system the egyptians are well known for their writing system their form of writing is known as hieroglyphic hieroglyphic was used in the inscriptions on seals and other objects next characteristics and contributions of the egyptian civilization a oral calendar system the pyramids hieroglyphic writing system prevention of human body use of science and technology next the mesopotamian civilization mesopotamia refers to the region of iraq and kuwait in west asia several kingdoms emerged around the city states of this region from the early 3rd millennium bc the sumerian akkadian babylonian and assyrian civilizations flourished in mesopotamia next the sumerians the oldest civilization in mesopotamia belonged to the sumerians the sumerians settled in the lower tigris valley around 5000 to 4000 bc they founded many cities and nippur was one of the important cities they developed the cuneiform writing system kings acted as the chief priests next the akkadians the akkadians dominated sumeria briefly from 2450 to 2250 bc the sargon of akkad was a famous ruler the sargon and his descendants ruled mesopotamia for more than 100 years next the babylonians the semitic people called amorites from the arabian desert moved into mesopotamia they were known as the babylonians as they established a kingdom and made babylon its capital by the time of the king hammurabi they extended their domination to the western part of mesopotamia hammurabi the sixth king of babylon belonging to the first amorite dynasty 1792 to 1750 bc attained fame as a great law maker next the assyrians the assyrian kings were the priests of assur the chief deity of assyria the assyrian government was controlled by the emperor assur was the capital city of assyria the assyrians worshiped the deity of lamazu for production next society state and administration the sumerian civilization had many city states the fortified sumerian cities had the temples called zikrats priest scribes and nobles were part of the government the temples acted as storehouses of the taxed commodities assemblies were created for the administration of the state cultivatable lands were owned by the kings and the higher classes of the people in the hierarchy next food and agriculture agriculture was the main occupation of the mesopotamians they had developed irrigation systems for ensuring the availability of water for agriculture next cities and town planning the mesopotamian cities featured mud or baked brick walls with gates some people lived in reed huts outside the cities the zikrats were at the city center on a platform and appeared like steep pyramids with staircases leading to the top next religion the sumerian religion was polytheistic sumerian worshiped several gods and goddesses ninhil was the sumerian goddess of grain asur was the supreme god of the assyrians the most famous of these is the epic of gilgamesh which is written in the cuneiform text next the hammurabi's law code 
the hammurabi code is an important legal document that specifies the laws related to various crimes it has 282 provinces specifying cases related to family rights trade slavery taxes and wages it is carved on a stone which portrays hammurabi as receiving the code from the sun god shamas it was a compilation of old laws based on redistributive principles an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth form of justice is used in the hammurabi code next cuneiform the sumerian writing system cuneiform is the sumerian writing system the shape of the letter is in the form of wedge and hence it is called cuneiform next development of script development of script is an important milestone in human history writing system began to emerge in sumeria in the latter part of 4th millennium bc next science the mesopotamians excelled in mathematics astronomy and medicine they developed the concepts of multiplication division and cubic equation the numerical system based on 60 was conceived by them they were the ones to formulate the 60 minute hour the 24 hour day and the 360 degree circle the sumerian calendar had 7 days in a week their numerical system had place values they created the water clock and the lunar calendar based on the movement of the moon next contributions of the mesopotamian civilization the potter's wheel the calendar system of 360 days the cuneiform system of writing the hammurabi's law code